I'm Floyd Robertson. And I'm Earl Cannonbear. And this is the SCTV News. Tonight's top story, tragedy struck a Plattsburgh family last night when a tornado tore through their two-story frame house, ripping it from its foundation and hurling it into the air, where it shattered into a million pieces. Emil Duncan told SCTV News early this morning he had no insurance on the house and lost all his worldly possessions. However, unlike the movie Gone with the Wind, this item has a happy ending. The notoriety the Duncan family has received from this disaster has made them the talk of the town. Floyd? Panasonic, who manufactures the unique prenatal educational recorders that are supposed to teach unborn infants to speak seven languages at birth, yesterday recalled 20,000 of its models because of defective parts. Company spokesman refused to reveal the specific defect, but consumer advocate Charles Green, who purchased one of the recorders, claims that his newborn son, Squire, was born sounding like, quote, a Spanish version of Alvin the Chipmunk, unquote. Earl? Municipal budget cutbacks will force the closing of the Henderson Memorial Home for the Aged here in Mellonville, much to the dismay of the 140 old people who now reside there. Mayor Tommy Shanks regretted the decision, stating that the residents have no homes to go to and no money to support themselves. The depressing fact of the matter is that the money saved from the closing of the home will be used to increase city hall salaries. Floyd? Well, I think it's a pretty sad state of affairs when something like that can happen in this day and age. Very sad. Well, the way I see it, Floyd, uh, there is a bright, rosy side to this story, and that is that uh, these elderly citizens will now be forced to fend for themselves. In other words, give them something to do during the day. Give them a, give them a goal in life, namely survival. What's gotten into you? What is this happy ending news kick you're on? I mean, what's happy about uh, old people being thrown out into the streets or a man's home being destroyed? Floyd, let me ask you this. When you look at a rainbow, what do you see? Are you on drugs? <laughs> do you see that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow or do you just see the rainbow? When you look at a cloud, do you see that silver lining? I, I love happy endings, Floyd. I'm... <laughs> I'm an optimist. You're a jerk. Now straighten up. Your job's on the line. Well, if I get fired, Floyd, it'll probably give some young news journalist a chance to launch a new career here at uh, the news department at SCTV. A rewarding sacrifice, as I see it. Earl, shut up. Shut up. Okay. Silence is golden. Earl, you're making a fool out of yourself. That's all right, Floyd. It gives people something to laugh at. I'm going to strangle you with your... my hands, my bare hands. I'm... Well, Floyd, if it'll make you feel better, go ahead. That's it. That's it. I can't. That's all right, Floyd. Don't worry. I'll wrap up. And that's the news. But don't be sad. There is a happy ending to this report. We'll be back again tomorrow. Good night. Not be back again tomorrow. What? Uh, don't be concerned. I'm all right. No problem.